Hi guys, we kind of want to put a video together on the behind the scenes on how we prep our blanks um, for me to turn. When he's chainsawing it, he likes to get them round. We, we don't put them on the bandsaw only if we really need to. It's all done with the chainsaw. Um, and once he's doing that, I take them in and I rough turn them and put a sealer on them and they go out on the racks. I'll let him explain um, the process on him getting started on all that. So, over to my husband. All right, well, the first thing I like to do is freshen up the chain. Uh, in this uh, clip here, I'm using my smaller saw. It's a 261C still. Uh, I'll grab my new still 2-in-1. I have an electric sharpener made by Timber Tough, but uh, this new 2-in-1 that I have from still is awesome. So, if you don't have one, I'd recommend one. Here we go. All right. Okay, a lot of people like to uh, make a starting point on the chain. Almost everybody knows that who hand sharpens chains. You can use a sharpie and come up here and just color the top of a tooth. However, this is a color-coded chain. This is the yellow chain. It's not the safety chain. I like using these. I think they're a little more aggressive, and I like the aggressive chains. So this is my starting point. I started the tooth right directly behind it. And this chain here isn't in too bad a shape, so I'm just going to go two hard strokes, and then I'm going to go with a little bit lighter to try to refine that cutting edge just a little bit more. And then I go on to the next one. These things are so accurate, I highly recommend them. And I will find a link... Um, of the steel sharpener, so that way you, you could check it out in the description below. And I don't discriminate. I'm a Husqvarna fan, uh, but still makes a good product too. It's like the difference between Ford and Chevy. There's nothing wrong with either of them. And this thing's almost foolproof because this flat file here also gets this raker right here if needed. But my rakers are already low enough from previous filing. We're going to finish this up and we'll come back when we're finished. This is my circle jig that I made myself. It's really basic, plain and simple, but it works wonderfully. I can go all the way up to uh, 21 and 3 quarter inches.
Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my videos. Also, don't forget to check out the description below for the links uh, for the sharpener. And I have a bunch of other links in there too, so don't forget to check that out. Alright guys, thank you and see you next time.